floating in the middle of the solar system, here, in the emptiness of space, you might feel very alone. And most of the time, you'd be right. But not today, because there's NASA's Juno spacecraft, zipping by on its way to Jupiter. On July 4th, here in NASA's JPL control room, Juno scientists will be watching the probe and praying that their one billion dollar spacecraft and more than a decade of work enter safely into Jupiter's orbit. The spacecraft will basically be on autopilot. Uh, it takes almost an hour to get a radio signal from here to Jupiter and almost an hour to come back. So it's way too late to tell it, oh, I forgot to do something different. All of the stuff you have to do, all of the frenetic, did we get everything right? Are there, are there any more tests we can do to make sure everything's right? All that stuff's over a few weeks or, or even a month or two before the spacecraft gets to Jupiter. So all that's left is to sit here, watch the signals, bite your fingernails, and hope everything goes well. You're now standing in a large clean room at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. The room has hosted several famous spacecraft, including the Mars Curiosity rover, now exploring the surface of Mars. That giant rectangular surface, it's a full-scale engineering model of Juno's solar arrays. It's the closest you can come to seeing Juno in live action. If the solar array seems large, that's because it is. So far from the sun, the Jovian system receives less than 5% of the sunlight we do at Earth. And larger panels mean more power. Our spacecraft is now actually flying further from the Earth than any other solar-powered object people have ever built. And the further you get from the sun, the less power you're getting from the sun. That's Juno Project scientist Steve Levin, who you can see here standing in front of a quarter-scale model of the Juno probe. Across our solar system at Jupiter, Juno is edging ever closer to its final destination, Jovian orbit. It will come closer to the gas giant than any other spacecraft before, looking for evidence of what Jupiter is made out of, and potential clues to how our entire solar system came to be.